From glitching out of the world border to literally crowd surfing on cows, we are testing the most extreme Minecraft experiments. But first, starting with what blocks will break if you drop an anvil on them? Okay, starting with just regular grass underneath. Nope. Oh, but it does damage the anvil. What about a dead bush? Surely it's going to break a dead bush. <laughs> well, it doesn't really break it. Also, notice the anvil didn't take any damage. Okay, but what about grass? Oh, the grass actually has a break animation. Okay, cow. Yep, okay. Hey, you actually get the items from this one. Wait, what do y'all think is going to happen to the cobblestone wall? Because I don't know. I kind of want it to break. But... Uh, it just it literally damages the anvil the same as the grass. But the block has no damage. Okay, now this is one you've been all been waiting for, huh? Come on, wither skeleton. Surely this guy's gonna go. Yeah. All right, last but not least, turtle eggs. I mean, if zombie pigmen can step on these and break them, surely an anvil's gonna do it, right? Come on. What? Is that not illegal? Should the anvil break the eggs? Is, is that not just weird? I can jump on the eggs and break them. Okay, this makes no sense. All right, so we know you can glitch blocks when you eat chorus fruit, but can you glitch out of the world board? Now, this is something I've never tested, and I'm excited, man. All right, so I'm going to start off here in the center. See if we can get out of the world border. What? <laughs> what the first try? Are you kidding me? You, you can see that we're actually out of the border. Well, yeah, because we're freaking dying, and we also have the red effect. All right, so this is something that's really cool. Now, if you take damage from a ravager when you're holding a shield, you actually get flung. All right, hold on. Wait, wait for it. Yeah, look at that. You actually take some knockback. But can you use this mechanic to fly thousands of blocks in single player? Oh, we're about to find out. All right, this is the exact contraption you need to put up. You can build this exact thing in your single player world if you want to try this out for yourself. All right, so this is the magical moment. So now whenever I go over here, we want to hug this little uh, wall before the Ravager hits us. All right, we're going to count it down here. Three, two, one. One, watch until the end to see what happens. All right, so we all know you can use buckets to extinguish fires, but can you use a water bottle? Huh? We're going to start with a regular flame just to see if it puts out. Hey, it does. I don't know why, but like that kind of surprised me. I, I just didn't think that Mojang would make that work. But what about a campfire? Why wow, even works on a campfire? Okay, candles? I even works on camp. Wait, this is crazy. Now we've got the soul fire and the soul campfire. This is where I don't think it's going to work because these are not regular flames. And what? Okay, that means it's going to work on this, right? Like it has to. Yeah, it does. Okay, now like this is the this is the final. Like we know torches are on fire. Like we can see like the little tip just right here, right? Just the tip. You can see it. Uh, bask in its glory. It's beautiful. But is it gonna extinguish it? Because there's not really an extinguished torch in Minecraft. I mean there should be one. I mean it worked on everything else, right? So naturally it should work on the torch. Huh? Three, two, one. Maybe I just missed. Nah. What? Nah, th th this is dumb. Like, this is Minecraft. This is another example of what you need to fix. Minecraft hate us. All right, so we all know that Endermen will take damage if you push them into water. But what happens when we put them inside of a cauldron that has water in it? Yeah, you know what's even crazier, too? Like, if we literally set the weather to rain, right? Like, if we make it rain, they also take damage. Like, uh, Endermen just, they weak. Anyways. All right, baby. Okay, so now we got to put the cauldron directly beneath our little contraption over here. Fill it with water. Put our Enderman inside. There you go. No, no, no. Don't even think about escaping. Now, this is the big moment. I don't know what's going to happen. Three, two, one. Bruh. Okay. So they can stand inside of the cauldron with water and they're fine. I mean, dude, you are literally in the water. No, no damage. Doesn't even teleport. Minecraft, tell me how this makes sense. Oh, wait, you can't. All right, so what happens if we throw an ender pearl and while it's midair, we go into the nether? Are we going to land in the overworld or are we going to be somewhere in the nether? Yeet it. Go in the... Go in. Come on, don't land. Oh, it's just about to land. And I'm still in the nether. That is good. Now... Oh, but if you go back into the portal, then you land... Wait, that's crazy. I do. Literally, the more you freaking know, man. I'm learning so much today. If you have conjoined end portals, what happens? So I'm going to light these at the very end because these are the ones that are actually, like, connected. Okay, okay. Now, now this is where things get interesting. One, two... Oh, and here it is. Three. Wait, what? Only this one lights? This one's feeling lonely. Oh, wait. No, it's because of the... It's the direction of when we place the Eyes of Ender. So I, I think if I break this one... All right, gotta break this. So now if we place them while we're facing inside, then we put these in? 
Yeah, then it actually lights this one. I mean, this does make, this makes a little bit of sense, but I still would like to see both of them. Now, the real question is, what color wool are we going to get when we shear a sheep and it has the Jeb name? Is it going to be rainbow wool? Is it going to be its, you know, is it going to be the white wool? Like, because I don't know. Because like right now, like the sheep we spawned in should give us white wool if we shear it. I'm going to go. I'm waiting for blue. Oh, one more. One more. No, wait, that's purple. And... Wait, it's just white? Really? Okay, wait, we can, but we can test this. Okay, the way that we can test this, we spawn another one, and then we can actually dye the sheep. Okay, now he's blue. Now we give him the Jeb underscore. Now, is it going to be blue or is it going to be white? Ah, it's blue! That means that I, all that matters is what color the sheep originally was. All right, now the question is, what happens when you drop 100 anvils on 100 villagers? Are they all going to die? And don't worry, I'm not going to manually place these all by hand. That's why we have commands. All right, we have now populated the village. 100 villagers. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm not ready for this. I don't even know if my PC is going to be ready for this. Because now we just have to update one anvil in the corner, and then all of them are going to drop. Now, this is a big moment. Not for me, but for the villagers. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one, go. Hey, yo. Oh, is that not the most satisfying thing you've ever seen? Oh, <laughs> no. Wait, are any villagers actually going to survive? Like, maybe... Wait, we see some survivors. There were some intelligent villagers who went under the tree. Look at this guy. Whether he knows it or not, he could have to populate the whole village himself. Oh, wait, two under this tree. Oh, wow. We had, like, 10 survivors. So, basically, it wiped out 90 to 95% of the village. And this guy is, is stuck. And there are no step villagers for you, brother. All right, so everybody knows that you take damage when you fall into dripstone. But what if you jump up into it? Let me show you what I'm talking about. So these are stalagmites because they come up from the ground, but these are stalactites, huh? You know, because they're on the roof. So I want to see if I can take damage by literally jumping into it. No damage. I'm literally, literally like, my, my head being poked right now, and I'm not taking any damage. Now I want to try it with a water elevator that's going to send us right into this one. Oh, buddy. Surely this has got to kill us. Surely this is gonna damage us. Sure, we're just, what are we doing? Just making out with the stalactite? No damage? Y'all, hey, tell me this is crazy. I, this might be the craziest experiment yet. I mean, okay, what about, can we try to push ourselves with a piston? Sticky? Come on. We got slime and a sticky piston. Maybe, maybe if we launch ourselves into it with a piston, it'll work? No, it's the same results, man. Is there any way to actually take damage from them when you're going up? Like, if I'm doing this wrong, y'all gotta let me know in the comments, because I feel like there's gotta be a way. All right, so if you have an infested block and silver fish, then you throw a potion of poison, this happens. You get more silver fish. But that's one block, so what happens when you do it with an entire tower of infested blocks? Do you think all of these are gonna be infested, or is it just gonna be like one? I don't know, I've not tested it, so... <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine, genuinely. And we're only gonna do one silver fish. A lot of potions, but one silver fish. And I even got lingering ones. Oh? Oh, nah, now nah, this is crazy. Yo, wait, this is, this is disgusting. I have genuinely never seen this. And now I'm deathly terrified of termites and bed bugs. The entire tower, bro, there's not one remaining block. Okay, so when you place a wither skull underwater, it just kind of like disappears, right? It breaks, but there's a little delay before it breaks. So what if you can build a wither underwater? We gotta be mad quick with it, okay? All right, all right, get, line it up, line it up, and... Wait, hold on, maybe not fast enough. I feel like I'm doing this perfectly, but what if you have, like, three people all placing at the same time? Ollie, Rob, you know what to do. All right, hey, nice skin there, buddy. Thanks, bro. All right, we need to, we need to like, perfectly time this. So it's got to be, like, three, two, one, but we have a British person, so we need to wait a little bit. The Americans have to wait a second, all right? So it'll be on go, so it'll be three, two, one, go, right? Three, two, one. Breaking news! I just made four brand new shirts, and they're available only for limited time at firemerch.com. Go. Wait, we were almost perfect. Hold on. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Ah, oh, that was perfect. Yeah, spam it. Spam it. Yeah, I think I think this one, I safe to say this is busted. <laughs> we know pandas are not the smartest and that they only eat bamboo. There you go. Look at them. See, they eat bamboo. This is why they don't live a long time, honestly. So can I get the panda to eat different blocks? Like bedrock, for example. Whoa! Dude, chill! My wife's on this app. Okay. He will not eat 
the he won't eat the bedrock. So we can't feed him the bedrock, but you can spawn pandas with blocks in their hand. So what if I spawn them with bedrock in their hand? Will they eat it? All right. And this command right here should spawn the panda. Okay. Panda. Oh, look at him. He's got the bedrock. Yo! Oh, this is wicked. Wait, does he just keep eating it? Oh, no. He, he, he can't. Oh, man, he's munching. So he's literally eating the bedrock forever. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, now I got to try this with other blocks. All right, command block. Yeah, look at him chow down, dude. All right, come on. Now this this right here, this is me after Mexican food. Wait, he finished the he finished the command block. Uh, this one's got TNT, so the command block can be eaten. Wait, the, wait, they just drop it. Wait, so they don't actually eat the command blocks of the TNT. Yo, but this guy is still munching. So does he just munch forever? Wait, he drops the bedrock, but it takes so long. All right, so obviously if you light an end portal, all the blocks on the inside disappear, slash they break. But all the way down here, we've got stuff like, we got TNT, bedrock. I mean, nothing can break bedrock, right? Well, except for that one glitch, but we're not gonna talk about that. And finally, what if you have villagers sleeping in the beds? I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, but I do want to start with this. Let's start first. Let's start with the ice, all right? Let's break the ice, shall we? Or rather, maybe the import will break the ice. Oh, see, like, it doesn't even break. It, like, vanishes. All right, TNT. Now, I got big hopes for TNT. I don't know why, but I just want it to ignite so bad. But I know it's not gonna. Yeah, okay. And we gotta do our due diligence. Yep, it's gone. I, I want it to work. Bedrock. I mean, naturally, this is gonna work, too. It just worked on all the other ones. Yeah, it's gone, too. This is the big moment. Get our villagers all sleeping in these beds. And then I just want to know what happens to them. Do they just go to, like... Did they go to heaven? Uh, oh, what a good little boy. Okay. Now you. Now you. Now you. <laughs> oh, no. Look at them moving their heads. All right. Hey, listen. If you really enjoy torturing villagers as much as me, go and like the video. I mean, they deserve it, right? Right? Tell me I'm not a bad person. Three, two, one. But... Oh, wait, they stood up for a second. Wait, like, rewind the video in, like, 0.25. That brown villager stood up for, like, a split second. Now, the real question is, are they in the end, or are they, like, they did? <laughs> oh, wait, they made it! Wait, why did a cat make it? No, no, nobody invited you, Mr. Cat. Okay, I don't know where the cat came from, but the beds are gone, and the villagers are totally fine. So we didn't actually kill them. All right, so we all know that you can technically clutch with water with just one pixel, like this. See how you see the little splash? Look at that. And just to show you guys, in case you haven't seen it, if you fall right here, you kind of just go into the edge. Look at that, you don't take any damage. But does it work on cobwebs, powdered snow, or a slime block? We're about to find out. Just in case you guys are wondering, this is the cobweb. <laughs> and cobweb? <gasps> Wait, I didn't think that was gonna work. Okay, okay. Wait, what about the powdered? What about the powdered snow? All right, what do you guys think is gonna happen here? I mean, like, I feel like if the cobweb works, surely the powdered snow will work. And here we go. Line it up, line it up. Yo! Even the snow works. Okay, this is the magical moment. Because if this slime block doesn't work, it is now the worst block in Minecraft. I'm making that a statement here for everybody witnessing. Y'all are my witnesses. Slime block, don't let us down. You've been so good to us for so long. Yes! Boy, that's crazy. So literally every single block, you can glitch on the one pixel. Uh, but you, you maybe you can't survive on every block, so keep that in mind. I haven't tested them all. <laughs> all right, who's going to win in a fight? A hundred vexes or a hundred bees? I got no idea. Three, two, one. Fight to the death. Oh, dude, just look at them go. Oh, yo, wait a second. Wait a second. I think the vexes are winning, but it's hard to tell. Because the bees, technically, when they sting, they do die a minute later. Oh, dude, this is a bloodbath. This is a freaking bloodbath. But the bees are working better together. They got that hive mind energy. The bees are all flying together as one unit. Meanwhile, the vexes have absolutely just scattered. This is going to take a little bit longer than I thought it was. So we're going to check back in on this in a second. <laughs> we'll be right back. Now, who is going to carry a diamond faster? Is it going to be the water or will it be an LA? And get your marks. Get steady something and begin. Oh, uh, what? Yo, you greedy boy! You greedy... He went for the diamond that was in the water. Bruh. Wait, I gotta try this again. Can I get a non-greedy LA, please? Oh? Oh! That, that, you wanna see some speed, Sonic? Step aside, because LA has got the heat. See, I would give you all diamonds to subscribe. All right, so we have made a perfect circle with inner pearls, but what about a perfect sphere? We're about to find out. Can you make a perfect sphere? 
Oh, look at him go. Oh, oh look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, dude, so far, this is looking pretty dang. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I think this is literally a perfect sphere. Why is this so gorgeous? I mean, dog. I mean, I'm not like a physicist, but this is some symmetry. All right, now look. Now we might have the perfect sphere, but I think it's missing something. Wait, I'm in the armor stand. I'm spinning. Hey, yo. That made me kind of dizzy, but that was epic. All right, now we get to perfectly go in the middle. Come on. Now we got to see how the inner pools fly. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, dude. Dude. Are you not satisfied? I mean, how can you not be satisfied? Like, dude, look at him just... They're like little stars. Wait, it's still, it's still a perfect sphere. Ah, right, now if you weren't satisfied before, now you definitely are. You're welcome, by the way. That was free. All right, so I want to find out, can Bedrock stop an Ender Dragon? But first, I'm going to start with some ice. Come on, Mr. Dragon here. I'm going to go in survival mode for you too, buddy. Oh, wait, look at him. Yo, he's just munching the ice. Now we're going to try Bedrock. Wait, is he eating the Bedrock? Oh, I just saw his wing. Wait. <laughs> so it doesn't stop him, but he can't break it. How are you healing from up here? Yo, this guy's on demon time. Okay, so I guess you could say that the bedrock doesn't work, but finally, I want to try with barrier blocks. And my All right, now it's time for the magical moment. Will barrier blocks stop the inner dragon? Oh, dude, I can't even see. There, oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, he's not near the barrier blocks yet. Come on, fly this way. Come on, Chungus. Fly, you fool. Oh! What? Did he just fly? It flew into the barrier blocks. That means the inner dragon, dude, that means the inner dragon isn't even stopped by barrier blocks or bedrock. What happens if you create a drip leaf only world and can you survive on it? We need to make a super flat world. Now we need to customize it. Everything's got to be gone. I, it, literally, all we got is drip leaf. That's it. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a disaster. And here we go. Drip leaf only. Now, this is... Wow, that made... Wait. Oh, that was the fastest world made ever. That was... What? Did we just... We spawned in a village? All right. No, no. I, hey, look, buddy. Before I test this, huh? Why don't, why don't we let the villager test it? Yeah. What? What is this guy? Tom Cruise? He's a paid actor. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. As long as... Wait, I just saw a villager. <laughs> okay, as long as you don't stop moving, you survive. I can hear a village. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at this guy. This guy's got a big brain. Oh, this guy. This guy's hugging. He's clinging on for dear life. Yeah, I'd be a shame if, uh, you know, I removed those. Be a shame if that broke. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what do you think? Is this survivable? I mean, technically, if you just W key. But the moment you let go, scratch your nose, you did. <laughs> Using commands, you can make yourself super tiny, but can you fit underneath these blocks? I'm saying yes. I want to say yes, because I want to see it work. Yo, <laughs> we're so cute. Look at how slow we are. Wait, we don't even walk in the right direction. Okay, that's why we have, uh, we have a swiftness potion, 128. Oh my gosh, like we're actually going at normal speeds. All right, now let's start with the fence. And what? Now you tell me if this makes sense or not. All right, but what if maybe the fence gate? Because the fence gate, I don't think touches the ground. What? Oh yeah, now I can go through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, yeah, can go through? Can go through. Now that just makes total sense. Thank you so much, Minecraft. Oh, come on. Please tell me I can go under this. Don't be dumb. Yeah. Now, how does this make sense? It's kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie, I feel so protected. All right, what about the honey block? Like with honey blocks, there's a tiny, tiny gap in the middle and I wanna see if I can slide in between. <gasps> wait, this, wait, this is crazy. Now imagine this for a secret base. You gotta shrink yourself and fit through the honey blocks. Oh, bed, oh, please bed. Tell me I can go under you. Cause then I'll know that there are actually monsters under my bed. Yup, yup, this is confirmed. There are actually monsters under your bed. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna have nightmares. Fence. Or rather, is this a fence? Iron bar. Can I fit through the first hole? No. Second hole? No. Third hole? I can't fit through literally any of the holes. Wait, mine carts are like floating? Wait a second. Like you can see the rail down here. I can go underneath two blocks? But I can't fit through an iron bar? I don't understand. I, this makes no sense. Finally, we have a scaffolding. All right, now at full size, you can go through this no problem. But now that we're tiny, there might be a problem. And, what, wait, I'm, I'm in. I'm like, <laughs> bro, I'm doing the moonwalk. Look at this. You ever seen Tiny P do the moonwalk? Like I'm in it, but it's so slow. 
This is worse than cobwebs. Like, I am going. Also, look at my character. Like, they're zigzagging. Like, I can't walk in a straight line. All right, that's it. I don't want to be tiny no more. And Big P! All right, so using this custom command, you can actually give your crossbow piercing level 127. Go ahead, copy the command, or maybe some generous person in the comments will post it, and then I can pen it. But with the piercing 127, how many mobs does it go through? Does it go through 127, or does it go through 1,000? Now, I think right here, I don't even know how many we have. Like, this is 25. We got 125 brave uh, volunteers. Yeah, they totally volunteered for this, huh, as tribute. All right, trust me, this is going to hurt y'all more than it's going to hurt me. All right, let's get the perfect lineup here. And three, two, one, fire! Bruh. Uh, I didn't give me the enchant. Uh, okay, well, that makes sense. And three, two, one, fire! Oh, my. How many golems was that? Wait, that was only like, that was like 40. No, I feel like we can line this up and get this perfect. I think we can take out all 125. See, it's hard because the crossbow has a little bit of bullet drop. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aim a little bit higher. This time, I'm going to crouch. All right, and... Oh! Wait, that's got to be more. Oh, it was only a little bit more weight. Can we really not break 50? All right, the final attempt. We're going a layer below. So I'm going to aim at the toes. All right, this is our final attempt. Three, two, one. Oh! Bro, that was weak sauce. Really good. And three, two, one. Oh, wait a second. Did we break that? We uh, better, but not quite. Hey, if you can get this perfect, please. Let us know. Show it to us in our Discord. Because this is wicked. All right, so amethyst blocks make beautiful noises when you walk on them. Yeah? It's, it's like a wind chime. Does it change whenever you go faster? So we've got swiftness 1 all the way up to 128. Starting with swiftness 1. Listen. I feel like I'm actually like... I'm playing a song. And that was only swiftness 1. Okay, swiftness 2. Okay. Now I feel like I'm listening to TikTok. Does this not sound like a TikTok soundbite? I kind of like... I don't know, like, which one do you guys like more so far? I think I like Swiftness 1, but I want to try Swiftness 10. No. No, wait, Swiftness 10 sounds the best. Wait, th dude, this sounds like literally, like, electronic music. Oh, dude, okay, I don't even know if our brains are ready for the Sensory Overlord. <laughs> the Sensory Overload at Swiftness 128, I can't be held responsible. Here we go. Oh my god, I just, I'm flowing. Oh, you gotta let me know what sounds best in the comments. I actually think speed 128 makes it sound so cool. All right, so what I want to do here, I'm trying to create a whirlpool and put items in the center so they have a perfect rotation. Huh? I don't know if it's possible. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is possible. Like, if this does what I think it's going to do, it could be even more satisfying than our Ender Pearl sphere. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that whirlpool. Oh, wait. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, wait, look at it. Wait, it's like almost a, it's a, it's a perfect circle. It's so good. Oh, 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 wait a second. Look at this. Wait, this is, oh, this is sick. That is a perfect circle. All right, now what's more satisfying, this or the inner pearl sphere? I just like this one because it's so fluid and it moves. And like, it looks like a giant comet or it kind of looks like Uranus. No, wait, Saturn. Yeah, it looks like Saturn. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. It's not looking good for the bees. There's like maybe 10 bees left. And I don't know, like 70 vexes? Oh, bees. Bees. Y'all with the bees' knees. You're gonna let your honey get taken by these vexes? This is despicable behavior. I had so much faith in you, bees. Wait, that's all the bees. There's so many vexes. 21 vexes died. That's it. If you ever want to build an army, don't do it with bees. Do it with vexes. <laughs> All right, what happens when you set up a dripstone tower and break it from the bottom? Oh, dude, only... I think only God knows this. That's a lot of dripstone, huh? I hope you're ready for some drip because here we go. It's like Thanos. It just snapped. Wait, all the dripstone's gone. I expected it to do that, but not to disintegrate. Is this confirm? Is Thanos dripstone or is dripstone Thanos? <laughs> if you spawn an undead mob, you know, the ones that catch on fire, they'll obviously go to the water to put themselves out, just like so. Yeah, he's like, oh no, I'm a burn. Yeah, put it, should put on that sunblock. But we can spawn mobs with Frostwalker boots on. And now this is when it's crazy, because will they actually create ice beneath them? I don't know. Are they just going to burn or are they going to create ice? I don't know. Uh, sir, your time here is done. Sorry. Thank you, Extra. It's time for the real star of the show. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's already creating some frost, but it's also not daytime yet. And 
Daytime. Oh, the ice is cracking. Oh, this is just cruel and unusual punishment, man. He's trying so badly to get in the water, but he can't. And he's just gonna die. Oh, no, buddy. I'm sorry. Is he gonna... Wait, I mean, let's see he doesn't die. Maybe he doesn't die. No, he... <laughs> hey, you don't even have the decency to drop the boots. All right, dude, this is gonna get wicked. The moment you've all been waiting for. We know that you can obviously use a boat on water, but can you do this with a literal crap ton of mobs? Like, I want to see if we can crowd surf in Minecraft. Because, you know, I'll never be that guy right there. But I'm not musically talented, so I'm going to do it on cows. <laughs> now, the good thing is cows have sturdy foundations, right? They got, like, four legs. Y'all better let me ride on y'all. Don't do the thing that I've seen at shows where, like, you know, the guy goes and, like, he, like, tries to dive onto the crowd and then everybody moves away. I don't want that to happen. All right, now we're holding the microphone. <laughs> AK the wheat. Come, I know you yearn for this wheat. All right, I think this is more than enough. Okay, so now while the cows are right underneath us, this is when we can summon the boat instead of placing it down. All right, boat. And wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> I know, wait, Bruh. I'm on the babies. Oh, there's too many ba No, cow, you took my boat. I think it would work if there was less babies, but I'll spawn some more cows. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got rid of the babies. And, oh, oh, no. no. Cow's stealing my boats. Come on. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm literally crowd surfing. Oh, wait. No, this is cow surfing. Sorry, my bad. But, like, as long as you don't have the babies, you literally can just ride on these cows. Until they freaking take your boat. Look at me. <laughs> We're cow surfing. <laughs> and finally, did the Ravager actually make us fly thousands of blocks? And three, two, one. Jump down. Get angry. There we oh, what the heck? Come on. No, wait, I'm not at... Yo! <laughs> oh I can't believe that works. How do more people not know about this? If you want to see more illegal activities, subscribe and click this video.